This is a Victron Smart Shunt battery monitor that I've installed in our Airstream travel trailer. This is a front bedroom uh, with a queen size bed, Airstream by the way. So uh, your installation may be different. However, the basics of it are gonna be the same, okay? The, the Smart Shunt is, uh, by Victron is about $130. And the, uh, the display is a Bluetooth operated app that you run on your cell phone. Okay, it doesn't have an included hardwired display. I just wanted to show you, if all you're doing is installing the battery monitor, it's gonna be pretty simple. The reason you would want to even have one is because if you have an RV, you probably already realize it's hard for you to tell exactly what's going on with your batteries when you are um, boondocking or dry camping. <clears throat> um, everyone probably knows that uh, you shouldn't draw your deep cycle batteries, lead acid deep cycle batteries down below about 50%. And even with um, uh, lithium batteries, uh, there's a limit to how far they'll go. But just like your gas gauge on your car, you need to know, uh, at least have some idea of how, much, how far that you can go before you run out of energy, okay? So that's why you would get this. Um, a, uh, an amp counting battery monitor like this, which is a shunt, which goes in the negative line of your battery, is by far the most accurate way to do that. And you can research that on your own. Okay, so the uh, installation is really pretty simple. Okay, if all you were doing would, was uh, installing the shunt, uh, then the instructions are almost right here, okay, on it. Now, I've got this upside down so that I can access the top of it better, but uh, you can see it says to battery minus. I have two batteries and they have independent lines. So that are the, that, that's these. These go directly to the negative pole on the battery. And then this says to system minus. So this jumper goes over to the negative bus bar. Okay, now the stock negative bus bar that came in the travel trailer is actually down here. Okay, all right. But because I'm also installing some other electronics, um, I installed this accessory bus bar. If you weren't doing that, you would just go directly from here down to the bus, the negative bus bar, which is where the um, which is where the battery negatives were originally connected. And, and then you have this positive line that goes to the positive side of the battery. In this case, again, another accessory bus bar, but the stock positive bus bar is right down there. And I could have connected to that. So I could have done this installation without the accessory bus bars. And all it would really be would be one jumper that goes from the shunt to the system minuses and then hook the battery negatives to the, the input side of the battery monitor and then hook up the little feeder wire to the uh, positive side. And that's really all there is to it. The advantage of using the smart shunt instead of one of the other Victron or other brand battery monitors is the fact that it doesn't have a wired uh, display. Um, I didn't want to do that because running wires from here, which this is actually under a built-in bed when it's all put back together, and getting that wire to a place where I would want my battery display to be so that I could keep an eye on things would be a much, much bigger undertaking than just installing the uh, battery monitor itself. But um, this way you can just use your cell phone app to access it. And if you're interested in that, you can download the Victron Connect cell phone app for free. Um, and you can run it in demo mode and you can see exactly what it would look like um, if you get it. Okay, that's all.